Hey guys, welcome back. Check this out. I actually changed the name of my channel to Poor Investor opposed to Future Wealth. I just thought it was an interesting name that I, I came across. Today I want to go through this map that I found. It's called uh, Visual Capitalist and it has every kind of like statistics on demographics of what is popular in what country and what states. Uh, actually not so much the states but pretty much the big countries. Stay with me on this one to see what else I have in store for today. All right, guys, so check this out. Look at this. It's like the whole world map. I mean, besides, unfortunately, we don't have anything out of out of space or in any other planets that have any statistics of what's going on over there. But for the most part, we have the United States and Asia and Europe and, and a lot of South American countries and these little islands that actually has uh, defined what's popular there. You can see all these different companies that we all, you know, public traded and, and we all have interest in and we see, you know, every day on the stock market. But visually, it's a little different when you see things. I was actually surprised that, I mean, not so much surprised, but you know, it's Amazon and it's Walmart. But what else is there? What is this telling us? I mean, it's just telling us the statistics that they actually are able to track. It gets published here and, and it has all this information visually, which is awesome. And it's not just this map. I mean, like, check this out. Global brands around the world. And it just shows you visually who's on the top and who is on the lower of the spectrum. And it just has all these different rankings of all these technology uh, retailers and all these other companies out there i mean look at mcdonald's and disney and mercedes toyota i mean this is a, a mix of different brands in in this category this particular category of the 50 most valuable global brands and that's global now that's like that's like top notch uh you can't get any bigger than that unless there's something happening in mars or uh, pluto that i don't know about how did i get into this uh particular website and so basically what i was trying to look for was retail sales of consoles Meaning, you know, between Nintendo, Sony, Xbox, and all the historical stuff that ever existed. Sega, Turbo Graphics, and all, all that good stuff. So I was just looking for information to see what was out there. And I came across this gaming brands, which was pretty interesting to learn. I had no idea that Epic Game was so huge in Europe. And of course, you can see here, Canada, United States, and China, and Australia, it's a very Nintendo dominant country. But then you have all these other Epic games, and you have Atari, which is, um, I'm not too sure what Atari is still producing. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the games itself, because here you have companies, which Nintendo is kind of both the company and uh, the games, uh, the, the, you know, the manufacturer of the console and the games, they publish their own games themselves. And then of course, you have the actual companies that produces the games that have no consoles like Konami, Blizzard, Activision, but that really should have been one, right? Activision, Blizzard, but they separated the two for whatever reason. And I believe this particular visual is as of, uh, I'm going to look and see, it's from February 12, 2021. So I'm not sure why Blizzard and Activision was separated as two different companies. But then I went ahead and I tried looking for Blizzard and I don't see on this map, I mean, it it has to be very insignificant for it not to show up as I probably compared to other companies or other brands of games. But then you see this gray big block of gray. It's Epic Games. And then it's Gameloft. Gameloft is like you here see uh, Chad, Ethiopia, Congo, which is pretty interesting. I, I had no idea there was such a high game presence in, you know, other parts of the world like this. From my opinion, it's always been just consoles that I look into, but never the actual publishers of the games, which has pr gotten pretty interesting now because there is a bigger presence due to like mobile gaming and people publishing for iPhone and Android as opposed to actual consoles now, which they kind of do both, right? Um, even Nintendo at one point, actually, they still have it, I believe which is the Mario game on the iPhone or, you know, in the App Store. Okay, so that was pretty much what I was looking at. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool because this is a lot of data. And how the accuracy of it may be a little debatable, but, you know, that's obviously you have to look at numbers to see if this de 
depiction of the actual visual is accurate to the actual numbers. If you were to look them up and see the sales in the United States and how many consoles are sold. Of course, just because it's a dominant Nintendo country does not mean that Microsoft or PlayStations are a very small percentage of it, which is not true because we all know that PlayStations and Sony has a really large presence in the United States. But it just so happens that Nintendo as of now with the Switch and the Pokemon has dominated that uh, a little more. That's that. So it also had another one which was pretty interesting with fashion. So this is all in one article and of course I'm going to link all this in my description and what I found is the website is called Visual Capitalist. Gaming brands, okay? So fashion brands, which I found really interesting. I had no idea even as of today that in the United States of America, the biggest fashion brand popularity is Victoria's Secret, which is like shocking to me right now. I, I just, I can't even put that one and one together. I thought it would have been Nike or it would have been like, what's that brand with the X? Um, I, I, I'm totally losing it right now. I don't see it here. It's not Adidas, the X, the X. It's a sports brand, okay? So never mind that. I see Old Navy. I don't know where Old Navy even exists here. Uh, it's a dark blue. See, I don't see Old Navy here. I thought it, I thought United States would have been a big Old Navy, you know, presence there. So we have Canada. I'm not even sure. Is that what brand is this? This is like a dark lumen, luminan, luminan. I uh, I butchered that one. H uh, uh, and M in. Wow, you see this. This is H&M. I have no idea. I only know of H&M because I pass by it once in a while. I've never shopped there. But this is huge that they have this huge presence here. And then in China, it was Nike, which I thought United States would be Nike. I don't know how this Victoria's Secret got in here. Like I said, I don't know the accuracy of this. I mean, it looks cool and all, but it really comes down to the numbers. Like you have really have to see like who's actually selling more, who's producing more, who's actually profiting for it to take over an entire country. You know, it's an extra item to look at which is very helpful if it gives you a visual idea of like what countries are into what at the given time of you know during this this whole year and then this one is really amazing i think the fast food brand i would have thought united states was hands down mcdonald's but it's saying it's not it's saying it's pizza hut and then canada's tim hortons and look at kfc look at this how does this dominate an entire country of this size you know in comparison i know of kfc you know of kfc amazing that i can see all this uh, and of course you see McDonald's, you know, it, it looks like it's small in, in comparison because it's like one, two, three, four or five. Well, it actually separates out here. So you can see this, this area is so densely populated. It actually blows it up right here in Poland and Germany. And then we have Singapore, which is down here. And then it blows it up out here in Malaysia, Thailand, because they're, so, they're just so tiny on the map that it will be hard to kind of, you know, see that visually. So they expand it. And then and of course, India is huge with um, Pizza Hut. You know, KFC is is a big dominance. I, you know, I don't even see Popeyes. Popeyes is not even an option here. Uh, Baskin Robbins. I, wow. It's just this one little speck right here of. Ba well, actually, no. You see all these little mini islands. They they're into Baskin Robbins. Uh, me personally, I like Carvel. I don't have a problem with Pizza Hut. I'm just not that crazy about Pizza Hut. I don't think even where I live, there's a close by Pizza Hut or I eat it often enough. I actually prefer Domino's over Pizza Hut. But then if I were to really have to choose, I, I actually see more McDonald's. So I thought the uh, the dominance of McDonald's in, in Manhattan and, and Brooklyn would be McDonald's opposed to Pizza Hut, which is pretty interesting. I, I never knew that. And that, you know, intrigues me because now I want to look into it. Is that really true? Is this visual map of what I'm looking at accurate? So that's that. And I just wanted to come here and kind of point that out to you guys. This is new to me and I think I'm going to start using it. I know there's other websites out there. I actually found some earlier today. Uh, not so much graphical. I mean, it has charts. It has, you know, who sold, how many and, and the revenue, which is awesome as well to have that information. But visually to see what brands are popular in what country, I would say this is pretty awesome that someone put this together or the company visualcapitalist.com actually has all this information and there's so much more that it has in regards to different aspects of industries and uh you know just it's all out there so you can see all this and, and the price of beer around the world i mean that's i i wouldn't have never thought of even 
looking into that, but it's a thing, right? So there's someone has somewhere someone needs information such as this to run their business or to compare what they can do to promote their own business as far as how much they can charge and you know how much they can profit. So information like this is very critical. And of course, visually, it helps a tremendous a lot. So thank you guys for being here. I just wanted to point this out today. Hope you enjoy this kind of video that, you know, I'm just constantly researching online and helping you guys out while I'm helping myself as well. Thank you for being here and see you guys again soon. Bye.